Hello, this is Arcades, and welcome to a bit of a tips and tricks build video here on Stormworks Build and Rescue. And uh, today I thought I'd uh, show you about creating a bit of a uh, speed converter. Not miles per hour. That's in kilometers. I just don't have it marked out. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So we're going to talk about way you can create yourself a small little microcontroller that you can make to select which speed you wish to display upon on your creation and uh, how you can just make it quick and simple. So yeah, hope you enjoy what you watch. Hope you like what you see. If you do, remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you think. Helps the channel out immensely and uh, yeah, let's get into this. Alright, so... Yeah, obviously I can't transition because I'm already transitioned. Ah, ha, ha. Anyways, so as I said, if you see up there, we have the speed sensor. I have a microcontroller I built so that I can display, you know, knots. I have a miles per hour. This one does kilometers an hour. However, this one is doing a different method, which I will talk about briefly. But we are going to be building a microcontroller. So we're going to be looking at that. And uh, yeah. So. First. What do we have here? Now there is two ways. There is like one way to do this. And I generally do it more commonly. Because it just doesn't take long. Uh, if you remember uh, previously I did a video about function blocks. Okay here we go. I did a thing about function blocks. And I talked about how they have listed for conversions, and you can use them to put it up here. This is great and all. However, if you want like a quick place like microcontroller that you can put down and then change the settings real quick between any of the method that you prefer, say you want to do ship, you know, me, I don't care. But some people maybe want that one quick solution. So that's what we're going to build. Now, if you want to just use a function block as here, like I said back in then, you just do X times and then you just come down here to conversions and it will tell you each one of these. And this is kind of relevant in a little bit because what we're going to do. Um, and yeah, this will just take the value, put it in there and such. Um, now the things we're going to need for this, obviously we're going to need a, you know, linear speed sensor. That's going to be considered your input. They output only in meters a second, and we want to convert that up. So, uh, yeah, so how do we build this nice little controller? Well, let's get into that real quick. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to modify a blank microcontroller I have to do this. You can go up here and you can create one straight from scratch. It works perfectly, but I'm just doing it this way because, you know, it's just how I do, how I'm going to do it. <clears throat> but anyways, so once you have your microcontroller place, we're going to go in here, we will get the properties, and we're just going to come down to two by one. That's simple, like that, okay? And then we're going to name it, at least for this, I'm going to name it speed converter. Simple and straightforward. Now we're going to go to logic add two nodes both are going to become number nodes one an input one an output simple as that now what we'll do is say if you want to describe this put a description for them you say uh, you can name the first one speed sensor input and this one as to dial or to display like that to number display there you go <laughs> so you can you know so you know what they're for okay let's get into the actual logic part so we got our input and output now like I said we're going to borrow this real quick. This is the function block. We're not actually using it. I'm using it as reference because it has the data we need. 
Now, what we're going to do is, whoops, we're going to grab in here, we're coming down to the properties. We are going to grab the property drop down. We're going to place that right next to the sensor input. At least that's what I'm going to do here. We're going to come to the property prop drop down and we're just going to name it, or we're just going to call, say, um, uh, speed measurement. My spelling wrong. I never said I was perfect. <laughs> now we're going to create four values. We'll come over here to add, create four. Now option one, I'm just going to put MS for meters a second. For two, we're going to put KPH, kilometers per hour. Option three, MPH, for miles per hour. And finally for four, we're going to put knots. Okay, so those are the four speeds we're doing. Now, the thing is, is meter seconds already coming out of the thing, so we're just going to put that as one. Like, why would you put that? It's already, that's what it's coming out of. You know, so if you're doing, like, say, um, some bug testing, or you're trying to, to, or debugging stuff, you can, this way you can come in and switch it out to meters per second without actually having to rip it out of your stuff and reconnect stuff. So consider that as a default option to say, hey, look, this is how it's running. I can bring it back to these numbers without having to break it down. So it has its point and uses. Generally, it'll be mostly for like debugging and such, but it sh I would leave it in there just for those purposes and you can change it afterwards. Now, here's the reference part. Now, these values, what we're going to do in the value here is we're going to put those conversion values. So what I mean is you come over here to the function block and you come down to conversions and you see we have these numbers. So we're going to do, you know, kilometers an hour next. Well, that's X times 3.6. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in this spot 3.6. I don't know why it did that to me. 3.6. And then in miles per hour, come to the conversion. I'm just going to put 2.2367 because this digit is a 9, so I'm just going to round this up to a 7. Yeah, 237. Okay, so then we're going to come here to mile per hour and put 2.237, just like that. Now we'll come over to the last one, knots, and it's 1.94 three and since this one's an eight we're just going to go 1.944 0.944 point nine four four there we go oh pretty straightforward and simple up right there now we no longer need this so we're just going to delete that we have all the info we need right here then we're going to come back into our selection and we're just going to get a multiply block now, technically, you can still use the function block if you want to and just go x times y, but you need the bigger one, like, you know, this one. You could do this one, and like I said, you could go x times y, but that's kind of unnecessary when you could just get the multiply block and do the same thing. You just grab the sensor's input, take the selected value and put it on the other one and take that to your output and there you go you're done that is that is your converter right there we just hit update and you'll see the speed converter has microcontroller then has just a drop down the box you can select which one you want you know kilometers an hour miles per hour knots and it will give you an output based on that now anything else you want this to do is pretty much going to be the fluff now one other thing we're going to look at and i'm going to show how to do is we're going to make a composite form because you saw one of those dials was on the instrument panel well in order to use an instrument panel you need a composite output so i'm going to show you how you can make it work for composite 
So we're just going to go... Now, I've already saved this. I would recommend make sure you save this. <laughs> um, and typical method for saving for me is, like I said, I like to go to the properties right here. Copy the name like this and then hit save. And as you can see, I already have speed converter and I already have the other one. You'll see that in a second. Now, we want to turn this to make this composite compatible. So, you know, you get the converter data in, and then it has a composite output, so you can send it to a, uh, you know, to an instrument panel. Or any other source that has composite input to put in a series of stuff. Well, first of all, we got to come back to the logic. We're going to change our output from number to composite. And then we're going to come into here, and you see this is now composite and broke here. Well, all we need to do is I'm going to grab another property number. Because if you saw from my last video with that microcontroller for the sending and receiving, we're going to do the same thing here. So we're going to just say speed number channel. Just something like that. And we're going to default to one. Then we're going to grab a composite write for number. We'll put that there. And we're going to go variable from node. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little stuffy right now. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go variable from node. We're just going to take this data and put it onto input one. We will put the property number we assigned to go to the start channel node and then just output this to here. There you go. That's all you need to do for the composite change. You know, make sure you, then what I would also suggest is come to the properties and then add, add composite to the name of this. Yes. You know, add composite to the end of the name so you can actually chain, you know, tell the difference, and then again, save it. And I'm just going to update this. And as you can see, now it adds this to here. So you can plan out the channel for what's going to go where. So, um, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Um, Anything else beyond this is pretty much fluff for any of these functions. There's a number of things you can do to help out of it. Anything else that has like speed on it and measurements and all that, like the big, you know, like bigger, you know, um, all in one controller type stuff, they're going to have this somewhere in there. Like they can't get away from that. Now, you could do this in Lua as well, but for simple purposes of this small little controller for like, beginner craft or you know less complex craft this is all you need it's pretty straightforward and simple it's not huge and now for hooking these up it's pretty simple and straightforward you get yourself your linear sensor you know like this here linear speed sensor you'll grab your you can look up by you know just speed and it'll come up you can grab your speed converter We put that there just for demonstration we got the composite one right here and then all you would do is you take the speed output of the linear sensor you know hook it into the input as appropriate then take the output for this put it to its appropriate dial and then or if you have the composite put the composite into its appropriate instrument panel And then you would come over here and you would select the one you want. So knots, we're on channel one, so that's fine. Over here, we're gonna do miles per hour. Because as you see, we got this set up for miles per hour. This one's set up for knots. And yeah. 
can you start going? It will give you all the data you need. So, like I said, there are more extensive things you can do to, you know, expand on it, but a lot of that is fluff. Everything just comes down to those same. Every controller that has it will have that same stuff in there at some point. Yeah, I know. I missed my turn. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so simple, straightforward. Ended up showing a way to convert your your data, or your speed into different values. And all it is simple a case of multiplying your the meters per second from the linear sensor by the values of the conversion. And we were just using the drop bound box to give those values of conversion and then just multiplying them together. So and then like I said, you can also use a function block um, with the X times whatever the value is, that works fine, but this gives you a way you can actually, you know, change the conversion value. So alright. So, I hope you had a good time. Hope you enjoyed what you watch. This is Arcades, signing out. Have yourself a good day. Whee! I can't zoom out as far like this.